nice spring. <laughs> sure don't look like it. Up at Saddleback. First time here. This is exciting. And they've gotten, I guess, six plus inches since yesterday. Sweet. Oh yeah. Here we go. Good morning. Good morning. First time at Saddleback. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a little bit sticky. Yeah. Moist. I was reading 25 driving in. Yeah. Forecast I saw yesterday was possible. Uh, liquid precip later today. I'm hoping they can hold off on that. Yeah, you can see some sleet. Yeah. Sleet doesn't hurt anything. Well, at least sleet's frozen. Man, this is an old school lift. I'll tell you <laughs> I like it. Yeah. <laughs> tell you what, there was one uh, non-frozen weather event that saved the whole fucking eastern ski, which was on Friday. Yeah, isn't it funny how that happens sometimes, how like some uh, sleet and freezing rain protects the surface when you later have nastier precip. I actually went to Canada right after that. Yeah. Actually, I went Sunday. A little bit of crust? Well, they didn't spin on Saturday. Oh, okay. And they groomed it all out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The uh, electric went out. Oh, I vaguely think I heard about they that. They didn't get it back till like 11. Uh-huh. Yeah, it reminds me of a day, uh, I think it was three years ago, it was like April 1st or April 3rd at Cannon, and the top of the mountain, um, tramline was closed, but Kinsman Glade was open, that was the first year I ever skied Kinsman Glade, I love that trail. Um, the top of the mountain was midwinter, the base was like soupy corn and mashed potatoes, but yeah, the top was all powder and packed powder. And that's pretty impressive, you know, first week of April, I mean, Cannon's high, it keeps the snow, but for them to have 
Knitter sill plus 72 out of 73 open. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Yeah, this is looking nice. Damn. He got caught on TV. A cannon? Oh, OJ. <laughs> Yeah, right. If anybody's more visible than me, it's you. <laughs> but, but I'm on public television uh, going out of bounds. Funny. But covered? Oh my god, the whole place is covered. There's a bridge to come out. As soon as you climb, there's 50 bullets in your head. Yeah. Rare. Yeah, I have, uh, I have yet to have a day on the face at J where it was really good coverage. Never ever have seen Tuck Shoot. Oh, Tuck Shoot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. I've it's never um seen it. it's not as gnarly as the face, no. but it's longer. It's it, in some ways yeah. it's more interesting because it actually get uh, twists and the thing about the face is it's uh, you know, it's wicked steep, but it's over, it's over so quickly. I mean, if, 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 you know, if you summon up the cojones to, like, straight line, and it's over in 30 seconds. Lookers left is what? Just, if you're looking up, yep, the yep. house, and then there's just a fucking huge rock cliff. Yeah. And if I was to say it's a 20-foot drop, I would be, uh, <laughs> underestimated. Yeah! Yeah, I think that's the shit that they huck during the, um... And there's a landing pad, but there's a big fucking bone in the middle of it. Yeah. And then it's trees. Yeah. So it's like, huck and haul. You guys are out of your fucking mind. Well, have you seen any of the footage from the, uh, extreme comp they run on that every year? No, These I've, guys are friggin' nuts. <laughs> <that. They> are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never saw any of the footage, but I've seen them at it. Yeah. They're crazy. Yeah. Oh, is that where, like, you rack up maximum number of runs? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And it shoots this one. Oh, my, all day, like, all day. Yeah, you gotta ride the single. Damn. You don't give a shit how you get down. I don't know. Damn. You well, there is only one fastest way, it's fall line. Yeah. So you just shoot, lift line, shoot, lift line. And you're trying day. to take the most direct path. Wow. I want to say, like, 26, 28 runs, something like that. I mean, you, you just packing food and drink on the way up and crazy. And I met him. Yeah. Tiger tail, snowbird. His father. Huh. They saw the mad kids. Nice. There you go. You get to see the back of the <laughs> Rivet if you glen. They actually started as pieces that were left over. <laughs> it's alright. I can do something. Damn, this coverage looks damn good. I might have to just bomb this fucking Fucking damn. Or it's all tore up. No, this is this looks this is at least six. I mean this is what? I don't know. I like when ski areas don't overestimate how much snow they got. I was like, oh they said six. Well maybe they only got three. No, this is this is this is soft. Wow. Could do worse for a first run of the day. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, I brought my other skis with me, but uh, I don't think I'm taking these off today.
Oh, oh, you mean you keep a different pair of skis. Oh, yeah. oh okay. I'm so frequently using these in the woods when there's questionable conditions or I don't know how deep it is. I've hit rocks with these so many times that it's like, do I want to get them tuned up? Well, what's the point? I'm just going to hit rocks again. But what it means is when it's a firmer day, my edges are kind of crappy on these skis. But that's not what I've been using these for. Yeah. I gotta get a shell with a helmet compatible hood. Yeah, that looks like, you know, you're kind of mountaineering level. Oh my word. 
My God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, tough to beat that for first run of the day. Oh my God. Oh. Where is he at? Yeah, maybe he took his time. <laughs> 